it's time for Gladiator. And this one scares me a little bit because it's a bit of a beast. I'm going to spray this on. Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Okay. Ooh, ooh. This one is so not my style. It isn't. But, but I'm going to make a call and say this is going to be, this is going to be probably one of the more popular ones. The one that sells a lot is going to be this one. It's got a very nice, realistic pineapple note. And there's the pineapple again. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, this is the Aventus clone. Oh, this is the Aventus clone. It isn't an Aventus clone. It's not. It is Gladiator. I must say that a Gladiator would probably wear something like this, as in the modern day brute. It's got, the, it's got a lot of mint. A lot of mint, a lot of green apple, but really it's, it's, it's a very tart sort of grapefruit that's in here mixed with the, mixed with the real, you know, it's not the smell of the mint. If you actually chew a mint leaf, you get that, you get that bitterness. That's what it is because grapefruit is bitter and it's the bitterness of mint and the astringent bitterness of mint with grapefruit and sort of like a, a mildly ripened pineapple, the flesh of the pineapple with green apple. I have a sneaking suspicion that there is a ton of ambroxan in here. That's probably why it projects and lasts for a very long time. And on the tester strip, I must say it's a, it's a lot more demure. It's a lot more muted. It's a lot more classier, I guess, but off my skin, it was a brute. It was like I was a gladiator and I had just gone five rounds with lions and shit. 